Yo, crypto nation and mining family. Crypt crypto nation and mining family. What's going on? And of course, like always, it's not financial advice. Yo. Yo, Crypto Nation and Mining Family, what's going on out there, guys? So, if you haven't been following my videos, you should have seen that the last one, one of the last ones I dropped was, yo, putting together the water block on this. So, um, I put the uh, water block on there, the aluminum back plate onto this. So, the this BCU and its brother, yo! Um, are pretty much ready to get going. Um, I do have the uh, QFFC cable. I forget. I, I, it's a bunch of letters. It's weird. Um, there are special cables that allow the two FPGAs communicating back and forth. So I will be doing some testing on some of that goodies too. Uh, but. Today's little segment is going to be yo. I have I, I do these so so rarely now because you know I'm slowly DCAing into everything. Um, is well a little bit of. Oh, I got a big box today, guys. So let's kind of uh, dig into it. So let me move these bad boys off to the side here. So that they're nice and safe. And, man, I think I should put the pie on the floor temporarily. Here, let me show you why. The pie is right there. This is a really big box. It might take up the area incorporating this and maybe even some of this over here. So I'm thinking I'm gonna move this over here under the floor just for temporary purposes so it's safe just make sure it doesn't get unplugged or anything like that there we go nice and safe yo i didn't even think about how big this thing was in relationship to Notice how dusty something is until like you remove a bunch of stuff out of the way for a big box. So this is usually my like little work area. I should get like a mat or something down here, um, like a anti-static mat or something. I don't know. But uh, let's go ahead and put this big box up on here. So right off the bat. Kinder Zimmer. That kind of looks German. Uh, the O with a little apostrophe over here it looks a little, 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 little German. Um, I was figuring I was ordering from the U.S. side, so um, if they've got you know stuff out in Germany, this was like some of their stockpile that they had here in the United States. Yo. Um, so, oh god, this is a big box. That is for sure. So, let's go ahead and dive into this. So, there we go. Carefully. Good god, they like taped the bejeebus out of this thing. How do they box this? This is weird. It looks like it should be separated here. Oh my god. Okay. So we kind of. Okay, okay. We're getting. We're making progress now, I think. I think. 
This is all sorts of weirdness going on here. I've got this box really just packaged weird. It's weird. I don't get how they did this. Oh, this is weird. I'm not even sure if I'm taking this thing apart properly. But, uh. Okay, what do we got here? Looks like it's a packing slip. Yep, we have a packing slip. That's not so much of an issue. Whew. This is a big a box. Holy cow. They did not spare a single bit on this tape. I think we're getting summer, guys. Oh, this is like being a kid in a candy store. There's like so much in here. You can almost do it better like this, so... Flexible tubing here. Ooh, look at that stuff. Ooh, now that's that's hardcore. That is super hardcore. We got some thermal grease. Let's see here. Thermal conductivity is uh, six WMKs. Um, I will stick to my uh, MX. Uh, it is like 8.4, no, 8.7, something like that. So, um, no, I will not use this. This is kind of a little, a little substandard in my, in my opinion. The MX, MX4, I would say, is far better. All right, so. All right, cool. So, let's see here. Ooh. I got some fans here. These are the Be Quiet. Ooh, it's like a box within a box. It should have like a bunch of other stuff in it. So. And one, what's really nice about these, and I can already tell, is that you got some of um, the fan density on here, the low plane, 
So you're going to have a good amount of static pressure on there, which means these are going to be good um, for running through a radiator. Um, you're not looking for ones that can just crank up at high RPMs. Um, I would rather see a slower speed on the um, on slower RPMs on the fan, knowing that they can actually, they've got more CFMs behind them. Give me more blades. Um, so that's the fans themselves, and then it should come with some adapters in here to be able to hook them in together. Aha, yeah, I am right. So I'd be able to like daisy chain some of them together really easily. Um, and it should, yes, um, has some adapters to be able to run these at different speeds. Uh, what's nice about that is it's giving me 5 volts, 7 volt, and 12 volts. So, you know, slow, medium, and fast. All built on the one, um, into one plug. So you get a little bit of convenience from that. And it's not bad to run these on the SATA. Uh, you're not talking huge, huge power demands off of the rail. Alright, so, they gave me one, two, three, four of those fans. Oh, noise. Ugh. All right, and these should be fittings of all sorts to be able to hold on to the onto the hoses and stuff. So, um, so I could just take one of these out of this bag. It's not just nice that they got everything organized like this. So one side would screw into some into a component, and then the other side is actually the clamp for the gripping onto that rubber hose. As you see, there's like a little gap in there. Um, you can actually you should be able to just twist it apart, and you see it's actually got a hose nipple end on there. So bam. This is kind of cool. It's gonna be, I've never played with any of this stuff before. Ah! Get back in your home. You're too good for your home. Stay organized. There we go. So I got a bag of basically a bunch of fittings and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. Um, and then it's got a couple of block off ends on to here. What's this? They wanted to make sure this didn't get damaged, obviously. So what are you? I have no idea what's completely in this kit. This is just the one that uh, Dimes Tech actually uh, recommended here. So I have no idea what what all they have here. So what's in the bag. Oh, baller. Baller. So, here is the um, attaching block for the FPGAs. Um, and these things screw right through the block and into the FPGA at the same time. So it kind of pushes through, bolts in, and seals on the FPGA all in one shot. Boom! That's really cool. Separated chambers on this. I bet you that's what the block offs are for is... Depending on how you run this. Huh. That's interesting. 
They've got inlets off to the side here and then inlets right here, inlet and outlet here. And that's probably why it comes with a little lock off. At least I'm hoping so. Otherwise, they just sold me a bunch of stuff that's got holes in it. So let's see here. Let's see what I have. And I am right. So I'll be able to block off a couple of these ports. Uh, that will be really cool. So all of this goes together. Awesome, awesome. So that's how I'm gonna hook up my FPGAs. I will be doing a video of building it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So. So this is a pump and res combo. Should have the uh, the D5 pump in here. Oh wow, this is kind of cool. Like I said, I have never played with anything like this before. I am going to have to do some research. Oh yes. Oh, uh, the bracket got a little bent here, so I'll probably do to bouncing around. Um, well, just got a way to fill it. Yeah, yeah. So it looks like this whole top piece should be able to unscrew if I wanted to. It's got fill port, multiple fill ports. That's really cool. Adjustable brackets that will be able to, you know, support the whole weight. It's got brackets here and then brackets at the bottom, uh, depending on how you want to mount it. Um, it looks like it's got a variable speed control uh, uh, knob on the bottom. So it probably you can limit top end speed uh, for silencing it, um, or if you're in, you're not sitting there doing a whole lot of heavy workload, you can probably turn the pump down, just kind of limit the entire flow of the system. We'll be sitting here playing with this and figuring out what I need to use on this. Um, and I'll probably need to look at the instructions and how this actually works. Considering that there are instructions for this, I'll be. Oh man, I hope it's in English too. Okay, yeah, it is. It's got an English soy to it. Perfect. All right, excellent. So we'll be playing around with some of this goodies. Uh, be going through and reading all I can on this because I've never played with any of this stuff before. Yes, I will repeat that. I've never, I've never done a water blocking system yet. Okay. That went with the pump too. I wonder what this is all about. It's got like a little clear tube on here. Hmm. We'll find out what that's all about. You stay with the pump. I'm trying to keep everything together, so nothing's really out of place on this. This is a huge box. Alright, so. We have liquid. There's only one thing that's going to be liquid on this. Which is going to be um, the radiator fluid itself.
That's kind of cool. Mod water by Mod My Mods. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's like in an oil container, dude. I, I'm not even. This is like, I work. I, I'm an auto. I'm a mechanic. I work in automotive. Um, this is the same thing as a quart container for motor oil. That's hilarious. And it even gives you a fresh date on here of 2-12-20. Nice. Alright. So, they've given me two quarts of it. Um, so, hopefully that'll be plenty of fluid. Should be. Ugh. And then the last thing, but not least. Dude, this thing is massive. It's like, oh, hold on here. Let me get this out of the way. Oh, this thing is huge. Huge. Huge, I say. Huge. Very huge. Right box. Just, 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 oh, there we go. Of course, it wants to destroy the box trying to pull it apart. That big box always, and there's this. No, just kidding. Oh my god. It's nice and tight in there, so it doesn't look like it's. Jesus, this thing is thick on top of it. I have no idea what's in there. We'll find out in a second. There's a, a little box in here. But, wow. Holy cow. So, we got multiple options of where you want to put the hose locations on here, which is nice. This thing is, a, I have an AIO uh, sealed unit in my, for my Threadripper from Energy Max. Um, I got the Lick Tech um, cooler and I would say that the radiator that I have is like half the thickness as this thing. Um, so this thing is, that's probably why they gave me uh, a half a gallon of uh, fluid, um, was to basically fill this monstrous thing. Oh my gosh. Oh. And then, let's go ahead and see what's in the box. Here. Right, you open up this way. So we got mounting screws. We got the the black off caps for it. Different options on what you're going to need. Wow, they give you a lot of screws. Oh, I know why. So they're giving you the option to be able to mount this to their fans. And everything else you're going to need. Oh wow, that's kind of cool. So, the screws are very, very long on this. Um, M3 by 35 millimeter. Um, I don't think they go all the way through, so I think they're the thickness of the fans, which you're only talking four per fan, so one, two, Four. Then they give you a bunch of extra, and then it looks like uh, mount, mounting screws instead too, uh, which you know you got to be able to mount the radiator or something. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. 
never played with water blocks before, so that's the biggest, and I go after the biggest thing ever. So, guys, definitely stay tuned with all uh, the updates that I'm going to be doing. I will be doing a video uh, showing me building the whole thing up. Um, so, definitely smash that lizardy like button guys for this if you like this stuff um and if you'd like to see me do this build yo i was thinking maybe doing it live but guys if you want me to do this live drop some comments in down below um this way i because like then i got to kind of orientate my schedule to be able to do a live stream um so if you want to see this live Drop some comments in down below what you want to see. Um, otherwise, um, stay tuned. I will do a video on the build, yo. Um, so while you're, you know, down there, if you haven't done so already, subscribe, hit the bell notification, all that good stuff. Share this video with somebody that you think might be into water, custom water uh, blocking and stuff like that. Because this, again, this always applies to even normal pc builds it's the same process it's just where you're locating it a lot of the same thought process goes through for all aspects of it so definitely see you all on the next one peace